Some experts are comparing the rise of new COVID-19 variants to a Category 5 hurricane lingering just off the coast. Plus, the CDC recently released new guidelines that say fully vaccinated people who meet certain criteria will no longer be required to quarantine following an exposure to someone with COVID-19. Dr. Oz joins us live via Zoom this morning with more details about these stories and more. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning to you. This Category 5 hurricane concept is a little scary, but I had Sanjay Gupta come talk with me over the weekend. You're going to see that show today. And I actually think that although we have COVID variants in the United Kingdom, Brazil, and South Africa that are raising some concerns in Florida, actually, uh, there's a fair number of UK cases. Uh, the vaccine does seem to work against them, so I'm not quite as panicked as some have, have uh, made it seem. Uh, which is certainly encouraging news. Um, it, it's interesting because during your conversation with Dr. Gupta, you also learned more about a lingering neurological symptoms that are associated with COVID patients. About a third of people who have had COVID, even if they weren't that sick, had subtle neurologic issues, little fogginess, not quite themselves. Uh, fatigue is a big symptom and they can last six months. So Part of the goal here is to talk about what you can do to keep your brain healthy. A big part of the, of the COVID story that's not been discussed is if you're healthy when you get COVID, you do much, much better. So, for example, if you think of Alzheimer's as basically diabetes of the brain, anything you can do, slashing sugar, hydrating, which 20% of the blood goes to the brain, omega-3 fats, all these are hugely benefit. COVID, you'll cope with it more effectively, we believe. It's hard to prove these things in randomized trials. We're still working on vaccines. But this is what the best of the minds in this area believe, and I agree with Sanjay. So, you know, we first learned also last week, and I want to pivot for just a minute, that, that fully vaccinated people may be able to skip COVID quarantine, but, but they have to meet three criteria. Would you explain those? Well, the basic story is if it's within three months of your vaccine, you're almost certainly protected. I bet you it's for a year, but we only have three months of data. Uh, you need to have gotten your second dose. It needs to be two weeks past your second dose. You had enough time for your body to make antibodies. I'm actually encouraged that the CDC said this because until now I was telling people, go get vaccinated. And they said, well, what the, the, what the difference does it make? If I get vaccinated, nothing changes. Well, besides reducing the chance of severe illness by close to 100%, I mean, that's shocking, right? Almost nobody uh, had severe illness if they were vaccinated in the large trials. Uh, you also get the benefit now of not having to quarantine if you get exposed. I do believe over time we have new data now showing that, kid, that people get infected less and therefore they'll pass it less. So it'll mean that you actually can maybe do things that others couldn't do. We just need to get enough people vaccinated for enough time that we can actually study these outcomes. And then, of course, if for some reason after you've been vaccinated, if for some reason you start to show symptoms, you still do need a quarantine. But but overall, given the success that we have heard from the Pfizer and Moderna drugs, uh, you know, perhaps that will not be the case in terms of them showing any symptoms. I, I just want to ask you, because I think this is really important, Dr. Oz. Th there is this theory, I think, among those who are vaccinated where they feel that they still don't need to follow CDC guidelines, that they don't need to wear a mask or don't need to socially distance. What is your message to them? We don't know enough about what happens after vaccination to, to take your guard down. And we've got a wonderful trajectory now with dramatic reductions in cases and deaths across the country. Just keep focused on this. Let's get past the next two months or so where we can get maybe 100 million Americans vaccinated, get into warmer weather so it's easier for people to stay outdoors. And I actually think we got a pretty good chance of having a, re a normal summer, especially as CDC gets comfortable that vaccination does in fact reduce infections. That would give us the comfort masks off. Not till then, though. We're not there yet, but we're certainly uh, hoping that we'll be there soon. Dr. Oz, thanks for your time this morning. God bless. Take care. So don't forget, we want you to encourage, we always encourage you to keep the TV on for Dr. Oz at 10 a.m. every morning here, right after the morning show.